As we come to the close of the service today, I want to pause for just a moment and reflect on how much God has given us, how much direction He has given us, how much uh, everything, whether it's a beautiful sunrise, beautiful sunset, a wonderful day, a top 10 day, or just all the things that He has given us, the guidance, everything, the love, it's just so wonderful. I'd like to pause for just a moment and thank Him for everything that He has done for us. Precious Lord, I just want to thank you, Father, for everything that you have done for us. The guidance, the help, the love, the beauty, everything that you have given to us. It's just so wonderful. And I want to thank you, Father, for the ultimate gift of all, eternal salvation, belief in your Son, Jesus, a home in heaven with you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for that. Help us never to make light of it, never to forget that, Father. It is the ultimate. We ask a special prayer, Father, for us today that we can learn from Matt's sermon today of your plan and trust you and follow your plan. Don't do what the uh, Israelites did as we, we have seen uh, in history and that, where they have uh, for a while followed you and then fallen away. Help us, Father, not to do that. We want to follow you, Father. We want to listen to you. We want your guidance in our lives. We ask you, dear Lord, just to be with all those across the world that are suffering because of the COVID-19, whether they've had it, whether they've lost loved ones, whatever, however they've been affected, loss of jobs, loss of uh, everything, whatever it may be, Father, we just ask that you be with these people. Comfort them. Let them know, Father. Have, have them to reach out to you Right now, just reach out to you. Say yes to Jesus and turn this into a win-win situation. It'd be so wonderful, Father, if everybody would reach out to you right this moment. We ask you, dear Father, to be with our men and women, the armed services throughout the world, wherever they're serving. We ask, Father, that you be with all the first responders doctors, nurses, hospital staff, whomever they are, Father. Be with them. Comfort them. Give them strength, Father. Help them. We ask you to also, Father, to be with all those who have the lesser jobs that, uh, that we don't see, the store workers that uh, stock the shelves, clean the stores for us, whatever their job, be with them. Comfort them, Father. They've worked tirelessly for, uh, so that things can go smoothly for us. We thank you for this, Father. We ask you now, dear Father, just to be with each and every one of us as we go about opening up the state again. Help us, Father, to use common sense to look to you for guidance, to accept the guidance when you give it to us, and that, that we can do it responsibly so that we don't have a recurrence of, uh, or a resurgence of this COVID-19. We just ask, Father, that we, we and I mean everybody in the state, would uh, reach out to you first, Father, asking your help, your guidance. In doing so then, Father, we will know that people are they're following you. And if people see us do it, they know, Father, that we are, we are listening to you. 
we are setting an example. And if they have a question, if they have a need, they can look to us and we can reach out to these people. We just ask, Father, for your care, your love, your help, and our ability and willingness to accept it. This we ask, dear Father, in Jesus' name, amen.